It really is great for us to be part of this national celebration of Sir Joshua Reynolds' 300th birthday here at Wimpole Estate. Diana Disarming Cupid, which is the painting you can see behind me, was painted by Sir Joshua Reynolds in 1769. It really is a striking piece and we understand that it was Joshua Reynolds' statement for what he believed could be the future of aristocratic portraiture. We're constantly working to care for the collections that we have, but this 300th birthday was a really great opportunity to be able to take this painting down from the wall in the saloon and bring it here into the Red Room to be able to conserve in front of visitors. It's a really lovely chance for them to talk to the conservator about the techniques that she's using, but also to our staff and volunteers about why it is that these treasures are considered to be important and should be cared for future generations to enjoy. So the conservation treatment we've been focusing on is surface cleaning the painting. This involves removing layers of dust and grime that lie on top of the varnish layers of the picture. So using aqueous solutions, basically deionized water applied with a cotton swab to remove years and years of a buildup of dirt across the delicate paint surface. Reynolds is a very unusual an artist because he was very experimental in his approach to painting and techniques. So he often would involve wax in his oil paints. He used pigments that are known to fade with light. And this really can direct the kind of treatment that a conservator chooses to do. Every painting is approached on a case-by-case -case basis and we have to take into account the history of the object, how it was painted and made by the artist and what's happened in the intervening years and all of that feeds into how we choose to treat it and what conservation approaches we use. Part of the work of the National Trust is constantly assessing and surveying all of the objects under their care to make sure they're stable for the next generation and this treatment is part of that whole process which combines with Reynolds 300th birthday and it's a great opportunity for the public to see up close and ask questions of what goes on behind the scenes. Not only are we seeing the painting of Diana disarming Cupid much more clearly through the conservation work, but for me it feels like we're really, as a viewer, being drawn into the painting, perhaps as the way that Reynolds originally intended, in the colours, in the dress work. And whether you're familiar with Reynolds' work or not, there's a few interesting pieces in this painting. We know that he was said to have been very close sociably with the people that sat for his portraits. So when you're looking at it, have a think about how you feel the relationship was between Reynolds and the Duchess of Manchester. I also like the, the friendly face on her son as he's playing his part of the role of Cupid in this piece. And you might see things like the quiver of arrows and the bow that she's lifting from his head, which really give us an indication of why this piece is named as such.